Hi everybody, it's Jen from Cake Tasta Cakes. I'm going to show you today how to make this awesome llama making his way across your screen here from Fortnite. So if you like it, please like and subscribe and we're going to jump right in as you can see. Okay, the color of the llama, I mixed like a rose colored with a little bit of purple to get this kind of purpley pinkish color here. And I'm making what looks kind of like a letter L. This is gonna be the body of the llama and we're gonna build everything on top of it. So it's kind of like uh, the mannequin or whatever, <laughs> the beginning of the body underneath. Uh, make sure when you make his neck and his body that he's squared off. He's not really rounded at all, he's very square. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. Uh, the part that I just rammed the lollipop stick through is gonna be his neck and that'll hold his head in place too and his body until he dries. Make sure the neck tapers a little bit, as you can see there, and then shove them in some styrofoam or whatever you have to make your project sit upright until they harden. Now we're gonna start adding the little fringe that goes all around his body. This is the same color, purpley pink, and I cut a strip, and now I'm just cutting lines into it. These are gonna make the little tassel fringes, but as you can see, I'm not cutting all the way through. So that way when I attach it, it's gonna go on kind of like a belt, I guess you could say. And I know we're gonna need to add legs later, so it's okay that it's uh, pretty close to not hanging down, but if you attach it, kind of see how it's sticking out a little bit at the bottom there, kind of bending it a little bit. It will be long enough to cover him up, so don't worry about the legs or him being exposed underneath or anything like that. As long as you just make him, make sure he has a little bit of a skirt on, I guess, he'll be fine. Okay, next layer is purple. Same thing as the pink. Make it about the same thickness. I didn't measure anything, but I eyeballed it and it worked out great, so there you go. Make the purple next the same kind of idea. You're gonna wrap it around. I started everything at the back end of the llama at his butt and then wrapped it around just so that the seams would be in the back. Um, when I placed him on the cake, he's also facing his right side out so even though I'm showing you the left side, the right side was the main focus, so you wanna make sure he looks really good. If you are gonna have him showing all around, then you gotta be more careful, that's all. Okay, did pink, purple, now dark blue. This is just navy blue, same thing as before, a little bit of water, actually it was kind of a lot of water to make it sit properly. There you go, you can see all around it now. And just add it on. When you're layering them up, make sure that the fringes overlap the one underneath. You're gonna see later on, I kind of missed a little and it doesn't look right as good. So be careful when you're doing it. Um, the solid part of the belt, let's call it, should be above the solid part beneath it. So the fringes do cover maybe half of what's beneath them. Okay, so that way the color will show through, but you're not gonna to see too much of that, that body underneath that we're hiding. Okay, so we did pink, purple, dark blue. Now this is a light blue, like a sky blue. Uh, same thing as before, add your layers, there you go. At this point, you should be about halfway up the torso of the llama, don't worry about the neck. When you're done, repeat it. It becomes pink, purple, blue, light blue. And as you can see, the light blue, I just cut out more strips and just laid them across his back until it was all covered up. The part that went around his neck, I did last. Okay, the neck of the llama is just the purpley pink part. You don't do this, the different colors anymore. It's all the purple pink. So this part's really easy. Just put your layers on and just start layering them up. And as you can see here, it was giving me a hard time, but hey, I persevered. I got through it all. So there you can see the second layer a little bit. And you can see right there is a little gappy, and that's where I kind of screwed up. I didn't go as far down as I should have and at the top there. Yeah, okay, do better than me, folks. All right, so there you go. You got your shaggy little llama body. This is gonna become the llama's head. I started out with kind of an oval, as you saw, and I just started cutting. I cut off a flat edge for the back, a long piece across the top, and then slanting down toward the center of the other end. That's where his snout or his nose or whatever is gonna be pressing down with my fondant smoother, kind of squares it off a little bit using my knife, trimming off the edges, make them a little sharper because again, he is kind of squared off. He's not by any means, you know, Minecraft squared off, but he is angular for a llama. So I just smoothed and, and pressed and kind of flattened 
until I got this weird shape, as you can see. Now I'm using my knife blade to make two pressure lines in him. I have no idea what they're supposed to be, but they're in him, so I made it. And how it's in my hands right now, um, it's going to be sitting, the part to the left is the bottom. So keep that in mind, and I'm using my little ball tool thing to make the eye sockets. He's got very big and alarmed eyes, so make sure you make the sockets nice and big. They are slightly egg-shaped, so they're a little more tapered at the top and wider at the bottom. Try to make sure you have them in the same spot on each side. You can see on the neck, I trimmed off the extra gum paste that was sticking out at the top instead of putting another ruffle layer on. I had to trim the stick a little bit because it was too long for his little llama head, and then press it on down. The back of the head should match up with the back of the neck, so just keep that in mind when you place the head in where it needs to go. I'm going to add one more uh, fringe of ruffle around him. This is going to go around, it kind of tucks under his chin and then covers the seam around his neck and head. Um, you can see what I'm talking about right here. It just kind of covers it up because in, in the picture as I was looking at, his neck ruffles do come up a little bit like that. Like they come up the back of his head but not the front a bit. So that's what I'm doing right here and oh so successfully doing right here, I should say. Okay, make sure you tuck it up under the neck because otherwise you have an ugly seam and I fixed it, so that's good. Yes, yes, make sure it's perfect, except for the gap. Don't mind the gap, or do mind the gap. Okay, now we're gonna make his ears. His ears are very cute and kind of bunny-ish. I rolled it out a cylinder as you saw, cut the two ends off because it's rounded already, it makes my life easier. And then I'm going to take my fondant spreader and just press down on the rounded end part. So it kind of, you know, slopes down toward the end. And I'm kind of dragging it along my surface there to flatten off the edge that's on the glass. Because I work on a big piece of plate glass. I don't know what you guys are doing, but hopefully you're not cutting up your countertops. Anyway, uh, point off the tip of the ear a little bit without messing it up too much or causing a crease in it, which I kind of did and had to fix, but you didn't need to see that. And then do the same thing to the other ear. Press it down, smooth it out, flatten it off, taper the tip, and then you have an adorable pair of llama ears. When you place them against the llama's head, you're going to press down at the bottom so that they smush into the head. As you can see, they kind of come out and then up and then yeah and then llama ears there you go and they're kind of big like bunny ears so don't be too shy with them i'm using a purple edible food coloring marker it's a new set i got that i'm really enjoying they have a really fine tip and i love them and i'm highlighting or excuse me outlining his eye socket because it's kind of shadowed in uh, the pictures i was looking at and then i shoved his big old eyeball in there and lost most of the effect anyway so did it really matter i don't know but it, i kind of feel like it did those are just purple again, two little lines. Use gum paste if you want to make his nostrils there. And his eyes are, going back to his eyes, they are bulgy, so have them sticking out. They don't have to be pressed in against his head. They're, they're bulgy and alarmed because he's about to get beat open. Okay, I'm painting a little bit of water around the back of his head and under his eye to his jaw, pretty much to right where his chin and his neck connect. And that's going to be the first part of his bridle. I'm using brown gum paste. You saw me roll it out and cut it. You guys know how to roll and cut gum paste. So I'm just rolling it out nice and thin and skinny and just tucking it under there. Rip it off. And the same thing, you know, the little skinny brown piece that goes across his nose. It's going to go above his nostrils and then back toward that same point where the first strap went under near his chin and neck where that meets there. See? Isn't that lovely? And over time, I make things that I really enjoy, and I love how they come out. And then it makes me so sad when I have to give them away to people who actually ordered them. And this was one of those things. He just, I love how he came out. I didn't want to give him up, but I had to, and that made me sad. But now I get to see him in videos, right? So it's like he never left me. This is going to become his, I don't even know what it is, his saddle, his pack, some kind of thing he wears. It's a, a light brown or dark beige, whatever you want to call it there, and it just goes straight across his back, just a rectangle laid across his back. It doesn't go all the way down the side of his fringe, it goes most of the way. On either side you're going to cut out a small light beige rectangle and slap it on there with a little bit of water. Just like that on either side. 
And I'm only showing you the one side because you guys understand it goes on both sides. You're, you're, you're bright people. I'm using dark brown or regular brown, however you want to call this, and I'm making an arrow. It's pointing up or down or to the right or left, depending on which way you have it. But when you place it on the llama, it's going to be pointing upwards. So make sure it will fit inside that light cream rectangle you stuck on either side. I just freestyled it. It's no big deal. You know, Fortnite is a little not so perfect with their shapes and everything, as you see. So it works. So he looks good. All right, this is light gray. It's kind of hard to tell what color it is. I'm just, I rolled out a real thin little strip from like Jimmy thin or thickness for you Philly and South Jersey people. And um, I'm going to cut two little pieces and stick them above the beige sign, let's call it. He's got some kind of hinges. I don't know if when you, you know, open them up and his loot comes out if all, if that's where it comes out, but he's got hinges now. I'm using my knife blade to just press some lines in to make it look like, you know, hinges. <laughs> uh, that's just a flat little circle down at the bottom of the same color light gray, and then a ball of the same color light gray on top of that to represent the padlock that he has to make sure, I guess, nobody breaks in properly without busting him open. Okay, this little piece is the same Pink purple, as before, is going to be his bottom jaw. His jaw sticks out, kind of, he's got a huge underbite. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm making basically a triangle here. It's kind of flat and kind of long. I'm trying real hard to just get that look, flatten off the edges, or smooth off the edges, I should say. So I got the rough shape. Now I'm trimming a little off because it was also too fat. Hold him up, see how it looks. It's going to sit in, like, uh, in front of the bridle bit part, the bridle part there, so that it sticks out, as you can see, because he's got an underbite. It should come out past his upper jaw. So use some water, attach it. If you need, if it falls off on you too much, um, you could use like a little piece of dried spaghetti and kind of wedge it in place there, and that'll work. So there you go, his bottom jaw. This is white, real thin, real skinny little piece that's going to become the teeth of the bottom jaw. Um, it makes like a rough letter C, when you place it on, so he's gonna have the front of his teeth and then the two sides, you can see it right there. You can see what I'm doing. They just stick out like that for some reason. So yeah, there you go. I had to use a lot of water because these darn things kept falling off and this was like <laughs> take number seven, I think, when I finally found one in the video so that worked. Okay, now he's got his mouth. I put him aside, let him harden up a bit. Now we're going to add his legs. He's got ridiculously skinny, stupid, useless little legs. And I found that they were so skinny and useless that I had to put something underneath him on the cake to support his body's weight because the legs would just sink right into him otherwise. I don't know if he had many days of hardening, then it probably wouldn't matter. I had a day, so it didn't work for me. So, yeah, plan accordingly, guys. Figure it out. You're either going to have to support the body's weight with something underneath or let him harden for a really long time so he's good and solid before you go putting his little stick leggies in there to support the body's weight. Um, jumping back in here, the leg is just dark, is the same color blue as the ruffle, the navy blue. You're going to go, you know, halfway down the leg, take the tip of it off, wrap the tip in um, black gum paste. You're going to see in a second here, a little bit of water, of course, there you go. And those are his legs. They're not ruffled. They're not fringed or anything like that. They're very smooth and they're very tiny and skinny. So that's why I'm using my lollipop stick. There you can see where I trimmed the head one off there in his tummy. And the green is some icing because I was messing with icing and seeing how he looked. <laughs> anyway, so yes, uh, put the legs in. You can see the one leg is a little bit shorter now than the other. So pull it out, push the other one in. There you go. You got legs. And do another leg. And now one more leg. See that? And see, I said I only did the right side. That's why the other side wasn't finished. Yeah. Last but not least, I forgot his little bit that goes in the corner of his mouth right there. It's a little gray dot on either side. And there you go. You got your freaking adorable Fortnite llama that makes me sad to give away. Hopefully you'll check out my other videos, and I will talk to you all next time. Thank you. Bye.